Hey, how's everyone doing there tonight? This is Undead Nightmare 24 back with a video. Hope everyone's doing well and staying safe out there. This is going to be an update video. I did receive some stuff through the mail. Um, I think another one's from a pawn shop pickup, but I do have a stack, guys, to go through. I've been getting some few pre-orders in, and I got DVDs. I got uh, Scorpion releasings, Eureka Entertainment. I got uh, the Warner Archive sale. I did hit that up as well. I got some Scream Factory and 4K and a couple other films there, guys. So these are going to be like randomly, random genres and just random films. They'll be through crime, action, horror, all of it mixed in there, guys. So hope everyone's doing well. It could be a little bit of a long video. I'm hoping it won't get too long. But um, yeah, I'll try to get through it as quick as I can. So everyone sit back, relax, enjoy, and let's get this haul video going. And if you hear noise in the background, it's possibly my kids, man. They're going crazy. So <laughs> that's the noise in the background. So let's get started here with the DVDs first. I'm going to go with this one I've been after for a while. It's a snapper case. It's a deep cover starring Lawrence Fishburne, Jeff Goldblum. I have seen this film and I loved it, so I decided to pick it up. It does not have a Blu-ray release, so I, to, I picked up the DVD and can't wait to revisit this film again, man. Great soundtrack, nice crime drama there. Next up, I picked this up at a pawn shop. I found it for two bucks, one eight seven. I always enjoyed this film. I used to have the VHS and I lost it. This film, but yeah, great, great uh, classroom kind of urban film here, starring Samuel L. Jackson. Got one eight seven. That's a DVD. Another DVD I did pick up here um, is Fresh. This is a great movie, man. It's a, like a kind of urban, kind of drug dealing street film, but it's more than that, man. It just has has a has a great story to it. it also has Samuel L. Jackson in it. So yeah, this one's this one's a rare one. This one needs a Blu-ray Blu-ray release bad. But yeah, if you guys haven't seen Fresh, I highly recommend this film if you're into that. Kind of street urban drama films. This one's a good one. Okay, next up I did get a bootleg DVD. And this is Raiders of the Atlantis. Raiders of Atlantis. This is a Ruggiero Diodato film. And man, this one looked like a blast from the trailer. I, I'm possibly going to review this on my Saturday action and exploitation films. But yeah, this, this is a bootleg copy. But I don't mind it. It's a rare film. And it just sounds like a blast. There's the thing if you guys want to pause and read it. Pretty interesting film there. That's Raiders of Atlantis. So those are the DVD pickups. Now let's get to the Blu-rays. And man, is there a pile. Start off with this one. I picked up on eBay. Uh, we got the director's cut of Warriors. Uh, I've, I had this on VHS as well and I don't know what happened to it. So I want to revisit this film and with the Blu-ray and yeah, this film. What more can I say that you guys don't know about this film? All-time classic. We got the Warriors. Next up, we got um, the Wicker Man from the '70s original film, starring Christopher Lee. And I've heard people just tell me you gotta see this, and I just haven't got got a chance to pick it up, but I finally did. So I've never seen this film, guys, and I've heard nothing but good things about it so I'm excited to check it out we got the wicker man next up another film I haven't seen that I've heard a lot of praise about is a uh, Jacob's Ladder this one looked crazy man from the trailer I watched the trailer on this and it it, it did catch my attention man it's from director of Fatal Attraction and Indecent Proposal we got Jacob's Ladder another one I haven't seen next up we got I picked these up on the Ronin Flix website. They were having a sale. And I, I picked up only two two editions there. But I did pick up Young Blood. This looked like a cool street film. And I like these kind of films. So uh, yeah, I got this for a pretty good price on their sale. And never seen this one as well, guys. Can't wait to check that out. Next up, we got a film I've been after and just hand-picked it up. Man, it's been on my list for a long time. And it is Sleepless from Dario Argento. I love this film. To me, this is one of the last uh, uh, awesome films from Dario Argento, man. And I got it with a slip, too. So I thought this slip was already sold out, but they still had one. 
And then there's the alternate art there. I love the soundtrack in this film. And yeah, this one doesn't disappoint, man. Can't wait to check out the transfer on this Blu-ray. We got Sleepless from Scorpion. <clears throat> Excuse me. Next up, we got uh, Slasher at Party. This is a slasher from uh, AP Films, AMP a Films. He's a f friend of mine I know on uh, Instagram. And he, I believe him and his wife directed this film. And, or some, they were involved in the film, directed, yeah, it's their film. But, uh, yeah, I told him I'd pick up a copy of this, and I did. Uh, this looked pretty good from the trailer as well. Can't wait to check it out, Slasherette Party. It stars, I think that's Ginger Lynn on the cover there, man. But, awesome art there. There's the back. Looks like a fun slasher film. from Kind of 80s retro style. And, there's the inside, man, as you can see. I don't know if I could show this. Oh, it's just a card there. I thought it was a booklet, but yeah, looked like a heck of a good time. We got Slasherette Party. Apologize for that glitch, guys. This camera tends to do that. Okay, next up we got this. I picked this up from Diabolic DVD. We got a Giallo called the Night Ripper. And I shouldn't be showing that. Might get flagged for that. <laughs> but yeah, this this looked like a lot of fun too. Love my Jello films. You can see there, this one looked pretty bloody, like a bloody good time. So we got the Night Ripper. Interesting, never seen that one. Next up, we got a, another one from Diabolic DVD. This is a Kino Lorber edition. We got Positive ID. What I was reading on this is it's kind of a rape revenge film. And looked just like right up my alley. It's going to be disturbing. I don't. I don't really like like great films, <laughs> of course, but this one seemed like a good story, and yeah, it's, it just looked like a lot of fun, man. Positive ID. Next up, we got from Kino Lorber's Redemption Line, uh, Grapes of Death, or no, The Grapes of Death, and I saw Master Chaos TV, Jose uh do a review on this and sounded really interesting and a film i'd be into so i picked it up so shout out to master chaos tv for this film just looked like a great good time and i, I want to pick up more of these redemption editions they look interesting the horror films so that is uh the grapes of death i'm going through these blu-rays here guys another stack i'm going to go with a box set right away i usually don't do this i save it for last but it's in the order here. I did pick up the Quentin Tarantino uh, five film collection here. We got Reservoir Dogs, Pulp Fiction, Jackie Brown, Kill Bill, Volume One and Volume One and Two. And I'm a Tarantino fan, man. And I didn't own any of these films, and they do come in the the single uh, single editions. There, it's a nice box set. There's a spine. Yeah, you got, like I said, Reservoir Dogs, Pulp Fiction, Jackie Brown, and Kill Bill, Volume 1 and 2. Yeah, glad to add some Tarantino to the collection. That's the box that I got. And it, it does have the basic art. Let me show you the art real quick. There's Reservoir Dogs, Pulp Fiction, Jackie Brown. Kill Bill Volume 1, Kill Bill Volume 2, that's how the discs look, pretty much their original art. Pretty nice box set there, I got a good, got a good deal on that one. Okay, now we're going to get into the Eureka, I hit up Eureka, I really, Eureka, Eureka Entertainment, I hit up and I like their films, I've been getting into them, so I decided to pick up a few films from them. I got Stigmata. Another one I had on VHS, man, that I just haven't seen in ages. So I wanted to upgrade to a Blu-ray and give, the, give this one a watch again. And like a possession film. These are region B. Also, you need a region free player for these. This is from 1999. Got Stigmata. Can't wait to revisit that one. Next up we got from Eureka. Quiet. 
Kwaidan. I ho hope I didn't slaughter that name. But yeah, this is like a Asian horror film, horror anthology film. And I heard it's real creepy. Like it has some gross stories throughout it that are pretty intense. This had a limited edition, but I missed out on it. So I just picked up the standard edition. But yeah, can't wait to see this one. I've never seen this one. Kwaidan, Kwaidan, something like that. But yeah, it has some ghost stories in it. I looked really interesting. Next up, we got another one I saw on Master Chaos TV. Not to pick up. Got this with the slip. Two early films from John Woo. We got Last Hurrah for Chivalry. I hope I said that right. Chivalry. <laughs> and Hand of Death. So I've been on a John Woo kick and I keep adding more to the collection. And when I heard, uh, actually saw Master Chaos TV review this one, I decided to pick it up as well. And then there's the alternate art on the inside. He said it was a real good film worth the pickup. So decided to add this one to the collection as well. It's a double film by John Woo. Double feature. That slip has some nice art in it as well. Next up from Eureka Entertainment, we got Mind Warp. I believe I've seen this before, but I just can't, can't remember. It came with a slip as well. So back from 1991. This has Bruce Campbell in it. Kind of like a post-apocalyptic. There's the alternate art, which I really like. Look at that. Rain Slasher. I guess it goes under another name. But yeah, this one looked like a blast, man. Like I said, it has Bruce Campbell in it. It's like a post-apocalyptic infectious film is what I got out of it. But yeah, it's, it seems familiar to me. Like I've seen it back in the day, but... Can't remember, that's Mind Warp. Next up we got a newer horror film from Studio Canal. St. Maud. I've been hearing great things about this one. So I decided to pick it up. I've never seen it. I haven't seen it yet, but yeah, it looked pretty good. Kind of like an artsy horror film. That's what I'm getting out of it. Came with a slip as well. And no alternate art, same art, but I like that white slip. I like white slips. And then it came with uh, some art cards in it as well. In the film. I don't know if there's back art. Yeah. It's on the back. I like these artsy horror films. Can't wait to check this one out. They're really stuck to each other. Let's see if I can get them free there. Some more art cards from the film. Real cool. Kind of like, seems to me like a possession religious horror film. I'm getting out of it. So yeah, that's Saint Mod. Need to get to this soon. Watch this one. I believe this one is Region B as well, so you would need a region free player for this one. Next up we got a 4K here. We got Angel Heart. Uh classic. I've seen this one. Love it. Had to upgrade it a 4K. Has one of my favorite actors in there, Mickey Rourke, Robert De Niro, another one. Yeah, this is a tripped out film, man. Got some horror elements in it, definitely. And the art's the same, I believe, on the inside. But yeah, another one to add to the 4K collection. Got Angel Heart. Next up, uh, I got the March Severin package. This is another one I can't show there. I don't want to get flagged. We got a scream in the streets, and this is the X-rated version. You can see there, like a sleazy film. And let me open up the. There's alternate art there. But yeah, this looks like just a sleazy, sleazy film there, man, with some slasher elements in it. So that is a scream in the streets. Severin. Next up we got Nosferatu in Venice. Came in the package as well. Klaus Kinski, man. Big fan. Can't wait to check this one out. I've seen the, the other Nosferatu, Nosferatu that he's in. I cannot speak again. So I, I'm believing this is a sequel. Sure has a nice slip. And I won't attempt to take this out because it's very difficult. I don't know why they put these slips so tight. I won't be taking this one out, but that's Nosferatu in Venice. And then we got 4Ks here. Severin's going to the 4Ks. We got 
Perdita Durango, Durango. It's a film by uh, Alex de, de la Iglesia. And this is a, a kind of, it reminds me of like kind of a, I see it, maybe a natural born killers film is what I'm getting out of it. Never seen it. It stars Rosie Perez and Javier Bardem. There's a glitch again, guys. Apologize for that. But yeah, I'm really excited. Severin's going in the 4K path. There's the back art. So I can't, I'm excited to collect some 4Ks from their line. And then there's the alternate art. You see Rosie Perez, Javier Bardem, both of them there. And it says, one of the best films of the year. Dark, violent, visceral, like Jodorowsky's directing The Wild Bunch. So yeah, I can't wait to check this one out as well. Perdita Durango. Durango. Next up, we got another 4K from the same director. We got The Day of the Beast. This is also filmed by Alex de la Iglesia. It's a Severin edition. There's the back art. Can't wait to check this one out. Look really cool. The horror film. There's alternate art. Another 4K edition from Severin. Yeah, that's the day of the beast. Now we're going to get into the Scream Factories. I've been after this one for a while. Finally picked it up. We got the outing and the godsend. Trying to pick up these double double features, man. Where they go out of print. I believe this one is out of print. So I picked this up mainly for the outing. That one seemed interesting to me. But I will check both out just to see. But yeah, we got the outing and the godsend from Scream Factory. Next up from Scream Factory, we got one of their newer releases here, Event Horizon. Heard good things about this film as well. We got Lawrence Fishburne, Sam Neill. Excellent art on the slip. And I've, another film I haven't seen, guys. I don't need to check out. There's the back. A few special features there. And we got the alternate art, which I always flip to if it has the slip. But yeah, Sam Neill, great actor. Lawrence Fishburne, excellent actor. Can't wait to check this this one out. Event Horizon. Next up, we got the Paul Nashi collection from Screen Factory. Finally got these in. I've been picking up a lot of Paul Nashi films, enjoying them, and this one looks cool. Edition, man. We got slides out like that. It came with a a booklet. I'll just scan through this. But yeah, Paul Nashi, man. He has some. I watched like. A few of his films and they have not disappointed they give that kind of hammer gothic feel to them and then they got like the italian horror kind of vibe to them as well we got horror rises from the town vengeance of the zombies blue eyes of the broken doll human beasts and night of the werewolf so yeah some paul nashy goodness here screen factory been after these for a while as well Wait, that's not going in right let's see there we go paul nashy collection next up we got screen factory as well paul nashy collection too i had to complete this and great art on that and these slide out similar let's see if I can get them out here this also comes with a booklet Scan through that. So yeah, I'm gonna have to go on a Paul Nashy horror film horror film binge here, guys. There's the that art. I'm not sure if it has alternate art. Check on it. No, it does not. It just has inside art. So we got the Paul Nashy collection volume two. Wait to check those out, binge those films. There we go, those are my Scream Factories. So now we're gonna get into the last but not least Warner Archive sale. And I just opened these from the box, guys. So I'm putting the box up here and pick, picking them out because they're still in the wraps. But I they're having to sell Warner, Warner Archives, and I went a little mad there. First, I got Action Jackson, classic by Carl Weathers, and Vanity, rest in peace. Always enjoyed this film. 
Next up we got Year of the Dragon, Mickey Rourke, one of my favorite actors. How to get this man, haven't seen it in years. Next up we got Judgment Night, one of my favorite films from the 90s. Emilio Estevez, Cuba Gooding Jr., Dennis Leary. Awesome film, guys. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of Judgment Night. Next up we got Don't Be Afraid of the Dark. Never seen this film. Heard great things about it. I believe there's a remake of this film as well. And this is a made-for-TV horror film. That gets good praise, so I can't wait to watch that one. Next up, we got The Hidden. This looked really cool from the trailer. Kind of like a crime action film with with a alien. Like what I'm getting out of it. Alien crime action film. Could be wrong, but never seen this. But I, it looked right up my alley from the trailer. We got The Hidden. Next up, I picked up Woofin. Never seen this one. This is a werewolf film I have not seen. And I've, I've always seen around, but... Yeah, I got Gregory Hines in there, man. Can't wait to check that one out. Next up, we got The Hunger. South Susan Sarandon and David Bowie. This is like a vampire film. Looked really cool. Never, never even heard of this film. Can't wait to check that one out. Look cool from the trailer. I was watching trailers before I picked these up. Got The Hunger. And last but not least, we got Showdown in Little Tokyo. Classic Brandon Lee, Dolph Lundgren. I have seen this. Love this film. Have to add it to the collection. So yeah, that's my pickups from the Warner Archives. Ugh, Warner Archives sale. So that's my pickups, guys. Quite a stack there. If you sat through this, man, I give you the applaud, man. So yeah, let's... I don't know if I... I'll give you a real quick scan of the films again. We got... Showdown in Little Tokyo, The Hunger, this is my Warner Archive sale, Woofin, The Hidden, Don't Be Afraid of the Dark, Judgment Night, Year of the Dragon, Action Jackson, Paul Nashi Collection Volume 2. Paul Nashi Collection Volume 1. Event Horizon Screen Factory. The Outing, The Godsend. Day of the Beast. These are the Severins. Perdita Durango, Nosferatu in Venice, Scream in the Streets, Angel Heart, Saint Maud, Mind Warp. Last Hurrah for Chivalry and Hand of Death. Quaidon. Stigmata. Quentin Tarantino Collection. Well, not full collection, but some films with his. Grapes of Death. Positive ID. Night Ripper, Slasherette Party, Sleepless, Argento, Young Blood, Jacob's Ladder, The Wicker Man, The Warriors. 
Raiders of Atlantis. Fresh. 187. And deep cover. That's my haul, guys. Quite a stack there. This I think this is my biggest haul video I've done. So if you guys sat through this, man, I applaud you. Um, I didn't want to stay this long on a video, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please uh, hit a like, subscribe, comment as well. Let me know what you guys think. Everyone have a great weekend out there. This is Undead Nightmare 24. Keep it horror. Peace.